Hello everyone. Welcome back to this another interesting tutorial on Informatica MDM. In this tutorial, we are going to see two important APIs and these are Merge and Multi-Merge APIs. What is the difference between the Merge and Multi-Merge API? As the name suggests, Merge it is used to merge two records. However, Multi-Merge is used to merge more than two records. But that is not the only difference between these two records. We are going to see what are all possible differences between these two APIs in this tutorial. But before going to jump and see those differences, let's understand what this APIs contains. If you see the request for the merge API, it has the credential details which we provide username and password. Then it has the ORS ID, we can ignore the interaction ID for now and also the synchronization options. Then it accepts the, the object name. In this case, it will be a base object. And then it has the source key, source record key and target record key. These are the important things or the important parameters we need, which we need to send. On the other hand, for the multi-merge, of course, it has a username and password. Then we need to provide the ORS ID. We can ignore this asynchronous option. Then it has a, another attribute called record and this record can accept fields. We'll see what are the fields which we can pass. We can pass the actual source system and the, the corresponding key source object or we can send the raw ID object as well. So these are the options available under this record. Another thing we can see, we can provide the trust value as well while the performing the multi-merge. There is a match path option is there. We can provide the BBT field and so on. Apart from this record, it also has a record key list. Here we can provide the system name, row ID, source key and so on. Once we provide multiple records in this single request, if we execute this request, the record will be merged together. Now we just saw the how the request get generated. Let's have a look on the sample request. We'll see the sample request for the merge API. Here we can see we are providing username, password, the ORS ID. This is the ORS ID. When we pass the, the Cyprian object, make sure if it is base object, provide the base underscore object prefix to that actual base object. Then under the source key, we can provide the row ID. This is the row ID object, which will be the candidate to merge. And the target row ID object will be the, the final or golden copy of the record. So record 9031 will merge into 9035. So this is the sample request. Now let's go back and see what are the actual differences between these two APIs. The very first difference is based on the number of records that we can merge using these APIs. As we know, merge API is used to merge only two records and not more than that. In case you would like to merge more than two records, then you need to execute merge request multiple times. In that case, you need to implement the multi-threading. For a multi-merge APIs, we can merge two or more than two records. Here, important thing to remember, we cannot merge two different types of record. That means, for example, if you have one group of record, and you have the Bob, Rob, and Robert. So this is one a group of record. The other group of record is suppose Mike and Michael. So we cannot merge the, these two different or these multiple records in a single request. We can merge multiple records of similar group or similar type. So that's the important thing we need to remember. We can merge the multiple records which belongs to a same group. Then what are the parameters we can send to this request? For merge API, we can send source record key and target record key. On the other hand, for multi-merge API, we send the list of the records. Hence, it has the list of record as a parameter, which we already saw in the request. How about the consolidation indicator value? Consolidation indicator tells whether the record is consolidated or merged or it is final state or not. In case of merge API, it allows the record 
to merge irrespective of what is the state of consolidation indicator value. So if the record is unconsolidated state or if it is consolidated state, we can use the merge API and it will get merged. There is a workaround also there. If you notice any issue while merging the record using merge API, you can update the repos table to achieve that behavior. For multi-merge API, it only allows to merge unconsolidated record. That means if the consolidation indicator is three, four, or two, then and then the multi-merge API will work. If the consolidation indicator is equal to one for the record, then multi-merge API will not work. How about the surviving record? It's very important how the survivorship will work when we use the API. In case of merge API, the survival record we already specify as a target record key. And based on the trust rules and the survivorship rule, what are the attributes we have for the target record and the source record, the trust will be calculated and final consolidated record will be populated in the base object table. For multi-merge API, of course the survival record will be based on the default survivorship rule, but we can override those values in the request. So these are the differences related to surviving survivorship of the record. I hope this tutorial is helpful to understand the difference between merge and multi-merge API in the Informatica MDM. We also saw what are the parameters we need to send to the each of these requests. If you would like to get the actual request, then let me know. I can share that over email or you can access those requests from my website, which is mentioned here. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or queries, you can definitely mention the comment section of this video. Thank you. Have a good one.